I am going to show you in real time how I am using this mobile app to calibrate the white balance of my LG C1 OLED. And the first thing I'm going to do is to hit reset so you can see the entire process from the beginning, step by step. Okay, so we're going to lower this color temperature to warm 50, which is supposed to be the closest to the 65. But as you can see here, this is not accurate out of the box at all. Okay, we are getting cooler than 6500K. So now this app is not a professional instrument for calibration. So we are not going to get the exact coordinates for D65. We are not getting X, Y, Z coordinates, but this is not accurate anyway. So who cares? <laughs> this is cooler than D65 because we need 6500K. So worst case scenario, you get your TV totally wrong, but it's at least better for your eyes because we're going to lower the blue, okay? So your eyes are going to thank you anyway. And let me tell you, the picture quality looks incredible to me after I made these changes. So we're going to select here the method of calibration, two points, and I'm going to start by lowering the blue until I get 6500K. So now my recommendation on this WRGB OLED is do not touch the red. Just leave it alone because the red color is clipping all the time before the rest of the colors on HDR especially. So we're going to lower the blue. I have a full screen white here. I'm going to lower the blue until I get 65. So now before I do that, let me, let me leave it at the default for now. So you see this magenta to green balance is 0.003. My recommendation is to calibrate first, keeping that same balance that you see. And then that, try another calibration and change the balance, the balance leaning towards magenta more. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate aiming for 0.002 towards green because I see some green looking faces on this LG C1. Okay. So I'm going to lower the blue and I, I'm also going to lower the green to get that 0.002 goal. So right now I lower it to minus 10, the blue. And as you can see here, we have 6,500K. So now I'm going to lower the green to get 0.002. So right now I have 0.004. I'm lowering the green. Okay, 0.002. And that is with green 10. So now, if you do this and nothing else, you're getting an improvement. You don't need to touch anything else. If you just want something that's very simple, that's not going to give you you know, a headache. <laughs> it's going to be fast. Just do this. Try green and blue minus 10 and high and call it a day. But if you want to go deeper, you can spend as much time as you like. I spent hours and hours to share the settings. I'm going to share with you and let the link in the description of this video. You can just copy the settings and try it, see how you like it. And if you want to do it yourself, do it yourself. Each TV is different, so it's up to you how much you want to spend uh, on this calibration. But I'm going to show you what happens when I go to the lower end. So now we're going to select this low point and I'm going to change the pictures to be the lower end of the grayscale. So for the higher end, it doesn't matter too much because we are hitting ABL anyway. So when we have these full screen pictures, uh, it doesn't really matter because ABL is kicking in, so we're not getting that brightness difference anyway. So what I'm going to do here on the low point, I'm going to go down on these grayscale pictures, which by the way, link in the description of the video, you can download these pictures. So now we are on the picture number 22 and this is 6400. So this is warmer than 6500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the blue. Not that much. I'm going to increase the blue until I get 6500K. Okay, 66, 65. So increase the blue in one click and I'm getting 6500. Let's keep going up. Picture number 25. So now 
you see here this magenta to green balance is 0 0.004 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lower the green come here to green zero and i'm gonna lower the green i am aiming for 0 0.002 there you go let's keep going up so i change the green to minus two let's keep going up see what happens 6450 and 0 0.003 so now this is warmer than the 65 so i need to increase the blue and then what I'm going to do later is I'm going to use a 22 point calibration on top of this two point calibration to fix the you know, pictures that are basically an outlier. So we have 0 0.002, 6500K, 6550, 0 0.003. So let me see in general if I am getting it right with these numbers. And then I'm going to fix the pictures that are going beyond. So this is, okay, 6,500K. That green is too low. Let me leave that green at the default zero. And I will fix it with a 22 point calibration. So I have blue four, green zero. I will fix that. The imperfections with a 22 point calibration. This is right here. 6500K, 6450, 6500. This is perfect. So those small imperfections that I got in the very low end, I will fix it with a 22 point. So let's change, let's see which picture is going beyond. This is okay. 6550 we don't have to you know, have a perfect 6500 in every single picture but we try our best so now here this picture number 34 this one is being a problem here 6600 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lift this blue in four green zero i'm gonna change from two point to 22 point calibration so we can stack up on top of each other this uh, this fine tuning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this code value. So we go to the lower end of the grayscale, and I believe this is the one 282. Let's see if this is the one controlling this picture. I'm gonna select blue here. Let's see. I'm gonna lower this blue and see if I am getting it lower. Yes, this is the one 6500. This is the one controlling the blue. So see blue minus two here was able to lower this to 6500. So now I also want to control the green because it is 0 0.00304. So I want to lower the green. Select the green, lowering it until I see two. Let's see when it drops to one and then I'm going to increase it. Okay, here you go. Green minus two, blue minus two that's what i needed to do so now let's keep going down and see where else do we have a problem i see okay i see a problem again 6600 see that problem in 29 so now let me see if this code value is still controlling that i'm on blue minus two if i reduce it i don't s yeah i see the changes I see the changes here. Yeah, definitely this code value is controlling that. Let me see if I can leave it at minus two. And if I can go to the lower code value, let's see if this code value can change that, this picture. So we are right now at 6600. If I lower the blue here, yeah, this is the one. This is the one. You see? This is the one. Minus three is able to lower that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the green too because I am aiming for 0 .0 0 0.002. Lowering the green. There you go. 6500. 6500. 0 0.002. So it is a little bit unstable. So I'm going to lower the blue one more click to minus four. And now let's see. 6500. This is okay. Let me go keep going down, see if we have any other issues. 
6450 6400 okay so let's go to this code value below 135 and let's increase the blue here we're getting warmer than 6500 okay so we have a problem here because this blue is not controlling this picture so what we have to do is we have to go back to the code value 100, 218 and we have to increase that blue we cannot lower it that much 6400 6450 6500 okay just so with just one click we were able to fix it so that's not a big it's not gonna be a problem then you see the green yeah this is okay we can leave that green let me increase the green one click okay so I increase the green to minus one and I have the blue in minus three. So let's keep going down, see if we have any other issues. This is okay, 6450, 6550. Let's keep going down, see if we have a problem. Okay, so we have a problem here in the picture number 20. This is a big problem, so let's fix it. Let me go again to the white balance. Okay, so we have, let's lower this to 135. So this 135 code value should be controlling this picture. Number 20, that is a little bit out of control. It's too blue, 6,700. So if I lower this, yeah, correct. 6,500, 0, 002. So I lower the blue to minus three, and we are fixing that picture number 20. Keep going down. I'm gonna lower it to minus four. Okay, I see the green to magenta is too high, so I'm gonna lower the green. Okay, now it's too low. Okay, I see. So I have to increase blue a little bit. Let's see, 0 0.001, so I'm gonna reduce the blue. This is okay. The magenta to green balance is a little bit unstable. Let me try to increase the green and then it becomes green. So I must rather make it closer to magenta. So make it below 0 0.002 than 0 0.003. So this is what I'm gonna go with. Green minus two, blue, blue minus four. So this is the picture number 18. So we are almost done because after this picture, I don't think that the phone is going to be able to, the camera is going to be able to keep, okay, that, that's too dark already. So there you go. I mean, this is very, very close. So let's go, let's now remove this and let's go over all the pictures very fast because this video is already long enough. So I'm going to go full screen here and go through all the pictures and see how good this is. It's too dark. Okay, here we go. 6500, 0 0.002. Let's keep going up. 6500. Okay, 6450, 64. So we have a little issue here that we have to fix. It's a picture number 35. This is a little bit warmer than it should. This picture number 35, let me guess here, 282, let's see, we have the blue in minus two here, okay, there you go, minus one, minus two, minus one, let's see, this is good. 6550, 6500. This is good. This is good. Picture 45, 46, 50. Don't worry, the, on the description, I'm going to have the, the settings. This is just so you can see the process and what it takes 
it's not that difficult it just takes well, 15 minutes <laughs> actually i i spent hours doing this man it is not i mean the settings i'm gonna have in the description are are not going to be these settings are going to be settings that i spent hours and hours and hours just to make sure that it is as good as i can but i mean this is very good even doing it so so fast so now you will see the settings I'm gonna post in the description are going to be different because those are settings for the SDR HDR trick on Windows 11 for this LG C1. And with those settings, I was affecting the lower end of the grayscale with a 22 point calibration to increase the visibility near black. So that changes the numbers for the low side. But as I said at the beginning, the most important thing to get right is the high side because the high side is going to affect most of what you can see and notice. So for the low part, let's say, yeah, just go with the settings I'm going to have in the description because it is exactly, they are designed for the SDR, HDR trick. And actually, I'm, I'm keep passing the pictures. We are on the picture number 109 actually i'm going to have settings that are let's say three levels i'm gonna have settings for magenta to green 0 0.003 for magenta to green 0 0.002 which is what what i attempted to do in this video and for magenta to green 0 0.001 so what are the differences between them with a 0 0.001, you're going to get a more magenta looking picture, which I believe is going to look closer to what a QD OLED would look like. So that's very cool. It's not accurate, but it looks very, very good. I actually like it a lot. The skin tones look very good. Very, very, very nice. But the one that I recommend is the 0 0.002 one. That's the one that I like the most. I think it is the most balanced and I bet it's the closest to accurate. Okay, but of course, this is not accurate. This is just me throwing a rock. For D65, you need the exact XYZ coordinates. Otherwise, you might be close, but you're not there. There's no way you're there. I'm throwing a rock using my eyes. Very important. Use your eyes. To determine at the end of what is the best uh, option and what i would recommend you is to try all those calibrations that i'm going to have in the description of the video specifically for the sdr hdr trick see which one you like the most and then if you want to calibrate for native hdr then just do not use the near black adjustment that i use for the sdr hdr trick and there you go that's what I would recommend you. So we are already on the picture number 167. So we are already hitting ABL. So this is not going to change. This is not going anywhere. We're getting 6500. Magenta to green balance 0 0.002. So I'm going to leave it here. We are 18 minutes already. Let me know if you have any questions. 